Jeff Hosford is joining us now from Hosford Law Firm. Jeff, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So we've been hearing uh, a lot this week about the president granting clemency, commuting sentences, uh, pardons. Please, if you will, differentiate for us and our viewers between the three of those. Well, obviously, um, the one thing here is they should be based on facts, but the pardon basically means that you have excused the person of the crime and as, it, as if they have never committed any crime at all. And a clemency is simply when they've been sentenced and they're sitting in jail. And in this case, the, the president has shortened that sentence to whatever time period he has said so. So if he's clement at this time, if he's granted her clemency till today, that means she will be released upon signing of that order by the, by the president. We've had, there's been a lot of talk today on exactly what happens after the president has granted clemency. Is there a lot of paperwork? But as you just mentioned, it's really sort of uh, just signing paperwork, and then after that, she's free to go? There may be some delay in the paperwork being shuffled to wherever it has to go, especially with the president. I'm sure there's a lot more channels for it to go through to actually get to where it has to go so she can be released. There's going to be some delay in any kind of action like that involving the government. It's not a private corporation, obviously. So you you got something that comes from Washington, D.C. and has to come to Alabama. They're going to have to send it to whatever channel it is so they can see the authority that's granted to that agency to, to release the person into society. And once that's there, then they should follow that order as directed by the president. All right. Well, it's certainly events we will be continuing to watch here this evening. As we've mentioned, we're told that uh, Johnson could be released any moment now from the Aliceville Correctional Facility. Jeff Hosford, as always, we appreciate your perspective. Thank you for having me.